Good morning, you guys. So I'm super excited to be starting another vlog because I just feel like I have not been vlogging in a hot minute and I just don't know what I've been doing, honestly, trying to catch up on life. But today is just kind of like a running errands type of day. Um, I accidentally had discovered yesterday that one of the drawers in my office completely broke and shattered. So I am going to go to the container store and see if they can exchange it for me. I don't have the receipt or anything, so hopefully like they have it under my account. I'm not sure. Um, but like, let me show you what happened. I'm so sorry. My office is a little bit of a disaster right now. But um, I used to have the big bins, these guys right here, over here. So there was two big bins and then two of these, right? Because the three of these are the same height as two of the big ones. So, for example, here are the big ones, right? This one shattered. <laughs> this drawer shattered and the bottom completely cracked. It was jam-packed kind of like this one, but with foundations. And foundations, it was the high-end foundations, which let me show you. I re-put them into drawers, but it's not really that organized. Um, basically, it was stuck like this and it wouldn't open. And it turns out it cracked completely in the middle over there on the bottom. So I ended up watching some of other people's like storage, whatever, and I noticed that a majority of people had these small bins. And I was like, oh my god, that's so true, because then you can't overstuff it too much, right? So, I am thinking that I'm going to keep these small ones mostly. Hopefully they let me take like, and like exchange it. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is trying to make sure that these big bins are filled with things that are not liquid, which is kind of hard because the majority of stuff I own is liquid. Um, this one has pallets in it, but I don't know. I just, I just really don't want these to crack anymore because, to be honest, $25 for a freaking drawer is a nightmare to continuously have to replace. So, this is not my ideal um makeup storage solution like don't get me wrong i love the fact that i can see all my makeup and it just feels really easy but there has to be a better way because this is definitely not the easiest um it just feels like there's something for sure that could be better because that they're just not strong enough that's that's the whole point so i'm currently doing a little like four day um I wouldn't call it like a challenge, but it's like Starbucks will give me 150 points if I go to them four days in a row to order a drink. I was gonna film and post a video today, but today is actually Halloween and I decided that like nobody is home probably. People are either out and about or just like, I don't know. I just thought that nobody would watch the video. Cause typically when it's a holiday, like the videos do worse and I don't know. I just didn't have a video prepared for this. I've been like dealing with a lot of um, back end stuff, like things that needs to be approved by brands and like going kind of back and forth. So I had like videos planned for like the whole month of, um, what's it called, it's October, but like things got delayed and now I just realized I'm, I can't depend on other people and their like schedules. I have to just kind of do it my own and make it happen. So I think, ow, fudgicles, that hurt so bad. Ooh, I snapped my nail back I'm trying to put my sneaker on and it's still not freaking on gosh darn it the stupid shoe hurt my finger so I don't even know what I'm gonna order because I have been getting the cold brew non-stop the pumpkin cold brew has been my thing problem is um, two nights ago I ended up having the absolute worst heart pain I have ever had I was so scared um, I took some medicine and it didn't help at all so I was just genuinely like shocked because I under, was under the impression that when I drink my espressos at the end of the day, um, I typically have a little bit of heart pain if I take, take and drink too much. But in this case, I wasn't feeling anything and I just kept drinking the cold brews almost every day. And now I'm like noticing how much it did affect me. So I stopped, I abruptly stopped, and now I, I'm not drinking any coffee, regardless of how I feel. If I'm like falling asleep, if I'm out of energy, if I'm like basically like, I, I don't know, like I just won't be behind the wheel when I'm that tired. 
Hi, well, Miss Starbucks, how are you feeling today? Good, how are you? Just chilling, just chilling, doing my thing here at Starbucks. I'm actually kind of excited to go trick or treating later. You already know how it is. Sounds <laughs> like fun. I mean, you better get the best candy. Exactly. You're never, you're never too old to go trick or treat. Well, as long as they have candy, you'll be there. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to bring my pillowcase with me. I'm out. <laughs> Damn, you're expecting a lot. Pillowcases are big. <laughs> Uh, can I have a grande blueberry black iced tea lemonade, please, with light ice? Let's do unsweetened. Shake it up. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have, have a great day. day. Okay. I'm glad I got it unsweetened, even though it's kind of a little bitter, but that's fine. Anyways, I don't know why I'm behind a slow truck right now when I could be going in a faster. Oh my goodness, it's because the Mercedes decided to go to Dunkin' Donuts. I need to change lanes. What the frick is going on here? Why is this so slow? Oh my freaking goodness. What is going on? Why is this lane the slowest thing I've ever come across? Not. Oh, an infinity car broke down. I got myself a green smoothie. I don't really know what the name of this is, but she added mango to it, so. Super excited to drink that and pretend to be healthy. Then I got some normal basic fries, which my fault, I should have gotten sweet potato fries. I don't know what I was thinking. And then I got an avocado sandwich, which I cannot open. But I was kind of confused, because what else do they put on the avocado sandwich? Oh my god, that looks good. Oh my god, are those mushrooms? Fudge. Well, that sucks. Oh, it says tempeh. What does that even mean? Tempeh bacon is a vegan take on the classic BLT sandwich. So it's supposed to be a fake bacon. Oh my god, this is the messiest eating I've ever done. If anybody comes to their car next to me, I can't even hide it. Like, I can't even pretend I'm not eating. I was just on the phone with Julia this entire time. I ate my sandwich, which was pretty good. Um, a lot of avocados and I didn't think I'd ever say that there was too much avocados on anything but yeah it was just like too much avocado but I am now almost home today's Halloween I totally forgot so people are probably like waiting to get some candies but I just called my nail place I'm gonna make um not make I already made the appointment I'm gonna go oh cop and he's gone. Anyways, um, I made an appointment for 5 o'clock for my nails. It's currently 4.17. I just bought some bread at Whole Foods and some cookies. I thought that Lizzie and Katie would enjoy them because I do remember having cookies from Whole Foods and they were so good. We don't really have a Whole Foods near us, so that's kind of sad. The smoothie is good. It's kind of tightening on my stomach though, so I'm kind of worried. Oh my god, people are already trick-or-treating. Oh my god, wait, I want to knock on my door and then say trick or treat and see if my sister is open. Trick or treat! Why didn't you give me a candy? Why didn't you give me a candy? I'm in a costume. I look like the girl who doesn't have her life together. I got the brown butter chocolate chunk cookies. I think I had these last time and they were so good. Let me see. Ooh, they're a little hard. A little. Oh my God, that's the biggest chocolate chip I've ever seen in my whole life. Mmm, nice. Oh, there's a dog barking outside. Are you concerned? All right, I'm on my way to the nail appointment. I just got an email back from a brand and like it's just really annoying when you work through a third person um and they it's just like i don't know why but this month i've gotten kind of tricky people to work with um 
where it's just like nitpicky and kind of frustrating but I mean I guess that's the job sometimes so I have um, an edit that I have to send in luckily I already made that edit because I knew this brand was gonna be absolutely frustrating so many instances um, being like a youtuber and whatever I've noticed that when I had a manager people were a little bit more professional and then like when you don't it's like they expect you to be more lenient towards them or that like you don't know what you're doing and so when I put my foot down and say like hey that's not in the contract this this and that they still try to push they try to get so much for free to the point where they're like taking advantage of you and it's like no like I don't believe that that is correct and I don't know it's just frustrating but I just learned now that um, I mean like I love the product I just sometimes the people working with you on the stuff is not necessarily an easy time so I just know for future reference that I have to be a little bit more strict when it comes to um, my contract my nails done just like the typical thing but I love them this is my color it's um some brand called DC gel or DC something um, and the number is uh, 83 something eggshell good morning you guys it's a new day with a lot of dry shampoo today is a little bit chilly and I want to wear a beret Would that be cute? So today I got invited to an event where it's for, um, I'm assuming a new launch for the brand, but it's on a cruise ship in Manhattan. I'm just confused. It's for three hours, so I don't even know if we're having dinner. Sorry, my friend called me and I was talking to her while I was getting ready. I just got a package with this bag and I wanted to share it with you guys. I think I'm going to wear it today. But look at this. The box came so beautifully. I like didn't think to film it. But it opens. I took everything out. Um, but it came in this beautiful dust bag. It is so pretty. You guys, these handbags. I never thought I would say this. But I am 100% obsessed. And I already know I want a second one. Look at this. It is so beautiful. It is so soft. There's so much texture here. I love the gold detailing. I love the shape of this. It just looks so elegant and the details really matter. And this came as well. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to attach this. I'm going to have to check the website. But I love the fact that it the zipper is like there's a lot of space here. So I just like keep my credit cards and stuff in here. Like this was this would be like amazing. And then on the front, I just love this right here. To open it, you like slide these up and this goes upwards. And then in here, you have so much space and there's a zipper pocket and just a normal pocket. Ugh, this normal pocket, the inside of it is so soft. It is so great. I'm so excited. So, yeah. I don't know. I am probably like sound so crazy right now, but I really do love it so much. I'm literally obsessed with this. If you guys are interested, I'll make sure to link it down below. Teddy uh, Blake was kind enough to actually send this over to me. But they have so many different styles. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not expect to love this as much as I love this. Like, I did not have my hopes up so much. But now I'm like, wow, this quality is crazy. So, for the price like, and for the quality, I am like definitely interested in getting some more. So, if you guys are looking for a good purse, this is definitely the one to go for. I made it. I don't know how, but I made it. And now I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'm very lost. I don't know. I got my little visitor pass though. I think that's, oh my gosh, is this where I'm supposed to go?
made it inside. Look at the staircase. Turn left and go straight, they said. We're at the event. Julia joined me. <laughs> Look how lovely. So pretty. Yeah. Yeah. They have little decorations in these. Look at how cute. Wow. Oh my god, it's purchases. Like so this is this is probably the most popular part of the ship. This is that. Like, think of a hotel. Think this is the lobby of the ship. This is where your guest services tables are. So like your concierge. Hi. Hello. This is more of a private reading area. <laughs> I feel like that's what I personally. This is beautiful. Ooh. Oh. Nail salon. How lovely. So here on the salon we have two hairstylists. Oh, that's sun reflection. bomb.com I got so many compliments on it like you guys I never get compliments on my purses and this time I got so many compliments even Julia was like it's so pretty so we have the jazz band over there we got the couple who's dancing the jazz over there which I feel like I was meant to be born in the 1920s and I don't know what happened God messed up the timing but here we are enjoying it today event overall was amazing thank you so much Bye, thank thank you. You. <laughs> we had such a great time it was like a very unique event so I feel so blessed to be here wait I totally forgot my coat 
Oh. Somewhere over there. <laughs> the guy is probably staring at you. Did you coat check? Or I got my coat. Nobody worry. <laughs> I almost left here without my coat. They wouldn't have left me back on the ship. <laughs> I got it. Thank you. <laughs> That's right, Julia. Hike up in those heels. Is it incline? Let's go. <laughs> Just to give you guys an idea, this is the freaking ship we were on. It's huge. We just found an ID in the bath in the bathroom, and we handed it over to a new friend. Hey, girl. Have a good night. I. You got it handled. Awesome. Here we are. Just got off a cruise. <laughs> We're gonna head to one of my favorite restaurants. It's called Serafina's on Broadway. If you're ever around, definitely go. I love that it's telling me to get out of the ocean. <gasps> well, it's actually the Hudson. this Christmas store it's open all year round oh that's the creepiest thing ever I'm not I'm not okay with these little Chucky dolls <laughs> they all look kind of creepy <laughs> so we're at my favorite restaurant Serafina on Broadway I sorry my camera died um Julia what did you get calzone. calzone oh my god looks good all right I'm gonna dig in So I made it home. I am vlogging on my phone because my camera died. So I'm going to charge it and then I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow.